Hey guys, Jay here from Game Busters UK, and now I'll be doing a singular playthrough of Crash Bandicoot for the PlayStation, and it's a pretty cool game, so all I can say is enjoy, enjoy the vid. It's one of my uh, favourite PS1 games, I'd say. It's pretty cool, it's pretty cool. I enjoy it. Sony Computer Entertainment Europe presents. Oh, I never get tired of that screen. Universal Interactive Studios. And of course, the guys, or should I say the dogs, Naughty Dog, they're pretty cool. They made some, you know, some good Crash Bandicoot games. Um, I think they're not working on them anymore, which is a shame. Someone else is, so. Uh, but yeah, here's the main man, Crash Bandicoot himself. So here's the orange little dude. He's just basically an animal kind of thing. And uh, um, I suppose he sort of resembles maybe a walking fox, I think. But anyway, you've got start, load, password, options. You get a password when you complete a level. So uh, we'll get around and start. Oh, I think what I'll do, I'll wait a bit. I might need to skip this. Um, there's an intro. Normally, I'd just hope that they do it, but and uh, that will basically show you the story of uh, how he's created. Uh, he tried to escape, and now he's got to save his friend. So, but Doctor Court, so here we go. Not determine the cause of past failures, <laughs> moron. This bandicoot will be my general, and he will lead my Cortex Commandos to world domination. This time I shall reign triumphant! So, the guy with the giant N is Cortex. Closer than ever before! The creator. Into the Vortex! And the other one is Brio. Cortex? The Vortex is not ready! We have no idea what it could do! <laughs> so yeah, it's Crash Bandicoot who he created. He escapes. Uh oh. And that's his like female friend, who I thought was like his girlfriend, but I think later on turns out to be his sister, Coco. But for now, it's just the main man, Crash, or the main animal. But yeah, so let's get started. Pretty fun. This is like your general free platformer. Jump about. His spinning is his only move, but it's the most lethal move. Who would have thought? Dr. Cortex creates someone to work for him, and he doesn't want to work for him. But yeah, so uh, first level, Insanity Beach, so let's get started on that. Loading the Insanity Beach. Ah, oh, I love that loading screen. <laughs> it's been a while. So yeah, when he escapes, washes up on shore, like on the intro, wakes up. Spinner. Right, excuse the lag. This is just finding a pretty suit suitable um, recording program. So I'm using my disc on an emulator. I would prefer it if I could actually play it through, but directly. But I need to get that sorted directly onto my TV, which would be a lot easier, and I wouldn't have to worry about the lag. Well, at least I shouldn't do. So yeah, got the old spin technique. Just jump about. It's basically forward and back most of the time. Forward and back, forward and back. Sort of thing as the screen follows you. So this is that was like the um, Aku Aku mask, which would uh, unless you go into a bottomless pit. <laughs> that is <laughs> that is no help to you. But you got like um, boxes like. Uh, this is the uh, up box which bounces you up and the box up there that you can't see is a uh, Wampa Fruit which you collect if you get I think it's 99 or 100 I think it's 100 you get a new life a bit like uh, um, well just um, general games I suppose general platform games I don't really want to say Sonic but I guess it's the only thing I can sort of think on top think ah oh, yeah you know you get 100 rings you get a life, so... Also, each time you collect an Aku Aku, if you already have one, 
and you collect another one, he notices he turns sort of orange and he gets stronger. When you get three, you get invincibility for a certain amount of time. And then he turns back to an orange. But if you get hit, he goes down. So, say I've got two, that means he'll take two hits for me before the third hit when I die. And uh, this is just my unbox. But, <laughs> yeah. No, you can't do anything with that. But later on, you'll, you'll find out some stuff. So, anyway. Um. The main goal is just to save your friend. But, for the 100%, you have to collect, um. This is a checkpoint, which saves you. And uh, so, yeah. If I break this. Super power visibility time! Destroy that turtle. Poor turtle, sorry turtle. Ah, sorry about the lag. It's my first time trying to record this. So yeah, you can literally destroy boxes and everything. The only thing I don't like about this is I think if you go this way you have to come back. I think. I'm trying to think, I think I do. Well you have to at least go one way and then go the other way I'll have to double check that but I think I do so uh, let's go and check anyway it's always fun to have a little explore oh I love that cool spin yeah I do okay this is a little bit tricky um, this may take a couple of <laughs> Okay, it might even get to the point where this might be the only level I do. So, the way you do this, you have to jump on this box, jump on the next, jump on the next, jump on the next, jump on the next. Which is really difficult. Let's do it. Let's go! Yeah, that's what I don't like. So, I'm just going to go back just in case I need to get boxes again. I do. Yeah, that's the thing I hate about it, because, yeah. I'll probably take at least, I mean, I'm hoping I'll take under 10 minutes, but I don't think that's going to happen. Oh. Yay! I did it! So hopefully... I'm hoping... Right, leap of faith. I'm hoping I did it. I'll know what happened if I do. Yes, I did it! He does a little celebration. And that's the first level, guys! So it's a bit slow. So, we've got our first gem, and that's exactly what I was trying to collect. So for all the crashes, you get a gem. In this case, you've got to survive through the whole level, without dying. Collect all, I don't think even if you have checkpoint or nothing, um, collect all boxes called, including checkpoints, I believe. And then you'll get a gem. And you'll get a perfect score, and that's basically it. Then, go to the save screen or password. Um, I'm going to save it. Man, I've got to clear up some of these stuff. They're going on. But, good job I've got two memory cards saved on here, which is pretty awesome. So, yeah. And that's the first level. That'll be it for now. We're going back to the map. In the next playthrough, we should move on to Jungle Rollers.